If I just could add to that just a little bit, the moms, because the moms are talking about signs. Actually, one of the clear signs Jesus gave, other than pointing to, which I think is very important, he pointed to where the Son of Man would come. And it just happens to be that how the Prophet Muhammad came from the east, from India, and his teaching came from the east onto the west. Other than that, there was a, you know, he mentioned that one of the other signs would be the, the, the eclipse of the moon and the sun. Yes. And, and this has happened in, 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 at the advent of the Prophet Muhammad And just something interesting, I thought, from an Islamic point of view, that, uh, and this may, uh, I mean, because uh, Bilal also mentioned about the breaking of the cross, I'm, just, just, I'm not answering that question fully, but just to mention that in actual the Hadith from uh, Muslim Volume 1, which is in page 136, um, Prophet Muhammad وسلم, mentions uh, with, with the descent of Hadrat Isa bin Miriam uh, that when the camel will be out of vogue and will not be used as a fast means of transportation, this will be one of the signs of the advent of uh, the second coming. And we know that actual modern transportation it happened in the early, uh, mid-18th century, at, at the advent of, again, uh, the Prophet Muhammad Islam. I just thought, again, a clear sign indicating uh, that the Second Coming would happen. Yes. So I mean, our, uh, our belief in the Second Coming of uh, Hazrat Isa, salam, of course, we have seen, as uh, the gentleman pointed out from the Bible, very clear indication that uh, Hazrat Isa would come again. Uh, but also we know the, um, uh, from the traditions of the Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, uh, that uh, and from the Holy Quran as well, we know that the second coming of Jesus is something that has been awaited in history, and the signs that have been also shown, uh, said to uh, that will occur have also been uh, reiterated by the Holy Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam, and we find those recorded in a hadith. And the time that the Promised Messiah came was exactly the time that people were looking for the second coming. And the Promised Messiah, in fact, has said that if I had not been sent, then there should have been someone else, because this was the time, and all the prophecies and all the signs were being fulfilled at that time. So we know that that is our belief. So it's the culmination, it's the culmination of all the factors and prophecies. Uh, regarding this uh, sign of about the sun and moon eclipse, a point uh, uh, is very important to be noted here, that this sign that will accompany the advent of the Promised Messiah <coughs> It has been mentioned in the Holy Quran. It has been mentioned in the sayings of the Holy Prophet wasallam, And it has also been mentioned in the Bible. So from whichever angle people can look, Christians and Muslims, actually the fingers are being pointed out to this great heavenly sign yes. in which there is no touch of any human being ever interfering in any way. So it is exactly a divine sign which was made visible to the people throughout the world in the Eastern Hemisphere, in the Western Hemisphere, everybody was made a witness to that great sign. So that is how Allah Almighty manifested the advent of the Promised Messiah. L linked to that question, there is a, another question that Bilal Sahib raised that Ibrahim Sahib, you touched on earlier, and, and he's gone on to ask and say, it is said that the Promised Messiah would come and break the cross. Explain how this has happened. So obviously making reference to one of the prophecies that when the time of the Second Coming, Messiah will break the cross. And how has that been fulfilled and how did the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam fulfill that? Well, I mean, uh, as you probably know that most in the Islamic world, they believe this in a literal sense. So they have this image of Hadrat uh, Isa running around breaking crosses or taking crosses from people's necks. I mean, it's a simple case of uh, discarding the doctrine of uh, Christianity. I mean, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, when he comes, he would prove categorically that the teaching of the, uh, of the doctrine of Trinity or uh, the atonement is uh, not uh, according to even what the Bible taught. And that's exactly what he done. I mean, uh, in one of his books, uh, The Fountain of uh, Christianity, or the, uh, Christianity uh, I think The Fountain of Christianity, um, I, when I read that book first time, that profoundly destroys this concept um, of Trinity, of uh, atonement and nature of sin. I mean, he has basically proven that the very concept of the doctrines that Christianity teaches, there's no basis for it. And um, if one searches through the Bible properly, you will also find that it's not, there's no basis for it in, in the Bible itself. Yeah. That is why the name of the book was also Fountain of Christianity, because that is the most important thing 
what they say that was all refuted in that one. Yeah, so right. regarding this uh, subject of uh, the breaking of the cross, I think this point has already been taken that uh, nobody can ever possibly take it in a literal sense. Real meaning is that uh, cross is actually the symbol of that religion. And because the incident which happened on the cross, yes. that is taken to be the most pivotal and important point uh, for Christians. And there are scholars, Christian scholars, very well known, renowned scholars, who have openly admitted that if this point is not proven, that Jesus Christ died on the cross and then he rose from the dead, then there remains no Christianity. So we all, I mean, they all agree. And that was the point which the promised Messiah, Islam, whose mission was to uh, make it very clear for Christian friends what is the true reality about that. He took it very strongly. And he emphasized on this point again and again in his writings and particularly in his book, Chashmai Masihi, Fountain of Christianity, then uh, Jesus in India, that's a wonderful book on this subject. He has taken this subject in great detail and given the arguments after argument to establish this very point. Actually, this is the crux of the matter. If this is proven that he died and he rose up from the dead, then they have a point. And if that is not proven, then of course uh, uh, they don't have any other message to present to the whole world. So it's really uh, understanding that this is a fulfillment of a, a metaphoric, this is a metaphorical yeah. fulfillment of this, which yeah. is the challenging of those misconceptions that had entered Christianity and had become the established Christian faith at that time. Absolutely, because sorry, sorry, uh, it, it, this is a great sign of the truth of the Promised Messiah salam, for, for two reasons. First of all, Hazrat Masihima, the Promised Messiah salam, has obviously categorically shown that the uh, subject of the death on the cross, the crucifixion, the death on the cross, and according to uh, the Christians, atonement being linked to that can, cannot be held true. And he has shown from the Gospels that this could not occur, and he has given proof from that. And then he has also, at the same time, he has uh, laid out the, what the actual picture of Islam is, or the, what Islam believes as to happen on the cross, and also of the death of Jesus in a natural way that occurred afterwards. What is interesting to me is that all these facts, the Gospels were there, the Holy Quran was there, there were great commentators who came all the period up to the Promised Messiah but no one in all that period had categorically put pen to paper and proved to the world that this uh, subject of atonement was not correct and the subject of what the Muslims are believing is not correct. And that is the, uh, how we know that that is the truth of the Promised Messiah because it said that the Promised Messiah would come and he would be the one who would break the cross. And he has indeed done that from historical evidence that was already there. Somebody else could have done it, uh, but it was not possible until it was one of the roles of the Prophet that he would actually do this.